Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the another episode of Ocean of Wisdom. In today's video, we are going to take the topic of loan waivery. Now, loan waivery is known as Salamanna is my native language. Now, the Karnataka elections are going on now. On 10th May, there is Karnataka election and many political parties, especially a party, I will not take the name, it has announced the loan waivery for the farmers. So a question arrived in my mind, is this loan waivery good? Isn't it harming our state's financial condition over long term? So I did some research and gathered the data to the history of the loan waivery, especially in the Karnataka. And I got my data here, I'm going to it and let's see what happens. So according to the data, the first loan waivery was occurred in 1975. A loan waivery was announced to provide a relief to the farmers and agriculture laborers. While it helped to stimulate agriculture growth, it also created a moral hazardous where borrowers were less likely to repay loans on time. So according to the data, in 1975, there was a huge loan debt. Okay, there was a huge credit debt on the farmers and the step taken by the Karnataka government in 1975 was a good step to give the relief to the farmers and agriculture laborers. But this was not the case in the subsequent loan waveries. So let's see. The second loan waivery occurred in 1980. Another loan waivery was announced to reduce the burden of debt on farmers. However, it may have led to a decrease in the quality of loan over time. Now, what do we mean by this? Look, if you take loan, okay, you ought to repay it. But if government helps you each time you take loan, okay, so at that moment you will generate a mindset where you would be less likely to repay the loan because you think government is there to waiver our loan. So this decreases the quality of loan, okay, the quality of repaying the loan over time. Now, the third loan waivery occurred in 1990. 1990, a loan waivery was announced to promote the rural development. So, third, so the third loan waivery which announced in India was especially to promote the rural development. So, while it helped small and marginal farmers, it also contributed to a culture of dependency where farmers were less likely to take responsibility of their own financial well-being. Now, here where the problem starts. In the loan waivery which occurred in 1990, the data suggests that it promoted, okay, it promoted a culture of dependency where farmers were less likely to repay or less likely to take responsibility of paying the loan. Okay, if you take loan, you are ought to repay it, right? I take loan, then I ought to repay it. But if each time I take loan and government comes there, repay my loan by the taxes, okay, by the tax paying by all the citizens of Karnataka, then why do you have to repay it, right? It promotes, okay, it promotes the culture of dependency on the government for each time to take loan, okay? Now, this is not a great thing because people will lack the responsibility of taking loans and repaying, right? So, the fifth loan waivery occurred in 2006. In 2006, a loan waivery was announced to provide relief to farmers affected by drought and crop failure. So in 2006, a loan waivery was announced to provide relief to farmers affected by drought and crop failures. Okay. While it helped alleviate, while it helped alleviate the financial burden, it also created a moral hazard and led to a decrease in the quality of loan over time. Same case. Now you have seen in the past, right? The first loan waivery occurred in 1975 and 1980. 1990, 2006. So you can see there are many loan waiveries announced by the government of Karnataka and of course it helped farmers to reduce their burden to it also contributed in the rural development but it also promotes the culture of dependency okay where people lose the responsibility to repay the loans okay these are all the long-term effects. Now if we see after just two years, in 2008, another loan waivery was announced by the government of Karnataka. Now, this government of Karnataka announced the loan waivery. Now, this loan waivery was announced to 
promote rural development again. But again, it also contributed to a culture of dependency. Same case here. Now, the last loan waivery. Now, this loan waivery occurred after a decade, 2008, then in 2018. So, the last loan waivery, which occurred in 2018 after a decade, provided a relief to farmers affected by drought and crop failures. While it helped to alleviate the financial burden, it also created concerns about the long-term impact of states' finances and possibility of moral hazard. Yeah, there's my point. If government announces a loan waivery, it is repaying the loan by the tax paid by the citizens of that state. Now, if the state government just continuously announces loan waivery for only a group of people or the group of occupational people, it would just unstabilize the state's finance and it also create a possibility of moral hazard. Okay, like I have seen many people say, I have seen people say around me, they say, I have taken loan two times and two times the government has repaid it. So why would I have to pay? I will, I just take loans, government announces the loan waivery and I just, yeah, just out of that, just out of that game, right? So that is not a thing. This loan waveries are also just creating a culture of dependency where you, where a person believes I just have to take loan and government will repay it. That's not true. Okay. This won't happen each time, right? So if we see what is the, now this was, this data, which I have told you was especially of Karnataka. Now, if government of Karnataka is paying, is repaying loans, right? If it is making loan waiveries, it is the, those loan waiveries are sanctioned in the central government. So what is the general impact of these loan waiveries? Let us see at the data. Now, according to the data, the impact of loan waivery isn't just limited to farmers and rural communities. It also has a significant impact on country's finances. Of course it would, right? And loan waiveries come at a huge cost of the government and ultimately the taxpayers. We are the taxpayers, right? You are the taxpayer. Each citizen of India is a taxpayer, right? So loan waivery come with a huge cost to the government and ultimately the taxpayers. Okay, the amount of money waived off is loan waiver in Karnataka. A loan runs into thousands of crores of rupees, right? To fund these loan waiveries, the government has to borrow more money, right? The government has to borrow more money, which increases the country's debt burden and affects its credit worthness. So eventually what is happening? happening is a group of people are just taking credits they are they have just uh, some not all of them but some of them has lost the responsibility to repay the loan and which to help these people okay the state governments or the government is helping them okay with an intention of development right with an intention that there would be development if we repay their loan okay right because they are debt trap but that's not the case. Conversely, what happening is each time loan waivery is getting announced by any government, any state government or government of India, the loan debt, okay, the debt on our country is increasing. That means loan on you and me is also increasing because we are all the citizens of this country and debt on country is debt on us, right? So, in 2020, India's credit rating was downgraded for first time in 22 years due to country's rising debt burden. That's not a good case. Now, in the long run, loan waivery are not sustainable solution for addressing farmer distressed or promoting rural development, of course. So the data is suggesting that the loan waivery is not a sustainable solution for any rural development or farmer distressness, right? So they create a vicious cycle of debt and dependency that ultimately affects the entire country's financial health. This is not a good case, okay? To help a section of group, okay? A group of people in the country, the entire country gonna face all the cons, right? All the cons, which is not a good case, okay? Now, 
Now, according to data, it's time for the government to invest in long-term solutions that promote sustainable agriculture and rural development. So, according to this, let's work together to build a better future for our farmers and our country, according to data, right? Now, what is the conclusion of this? Now, in the conclusion, data says, Loan waiver in Karnataka has provided temporary reliefs of farmers and rural communities. Of course, it has in the loan waiver of 1975, okay, helped many farmer to come out of debt trap, which promoted their development. But there were also some people who did not learn the lesson and they again been into the same debt trap. And there are a group of section of people, okay, there are some people who never learns the lesson and keep repeating the same thing because why? government is there to waiver our loan right which is not the thing which is not the thing i guess should should be that right what is your opinion so so yeah of course this loan waiver is announced by the government provided the temporary relief for the farmers and rural communities but they come at the significant cost of the country's finance and ultimately affect all the taxpayers the repeated implementation of loan waivery has created a culture of dependency and moral hazard that i guess these two sentences have come many times in this data right now also where farmers are less likely to take responsibility for their financial well-being and lenders are less likely to provide high quality loans why would they yeah why would they now so it's time to the government to invest in sustainable solutions that promote the long-term agriculture growth and rural development instead of using loan waivers as a quick fix policy makers should work on provide farmer with better access to credit right improve irrigation infrastructure and encourage crop diversification of course, I won't say there is no crop diversification, but I guess there is need to diversify the crop patterns all over the country. So in a nutshell, all that I would like to tell is the government is not responsible to repay anybody's loan. Right? It is not responsible to repay the loan of any section or group's loan. And the people who have taken loan are ought to repay it. And it is not just their tax which is getting invested there. It is our tax which is getting invested there. And because you and me are responsible citizens of this country, I guess it's our right to raise the question where our tax is getting invested in. Okay. And at last, again, I guess loan waiver is not a good choice that government should make because it's just in, in the long term, in the short term, it is, it is getting reliefs to the one of the important section of the country but in the long term it is hindering the development and also it is increasing the debt on our country which is increasing the debt on us so which is not a good case so that all that i would like to tell this was all the data what is your opinion is this loan waiver a good thing because now loan waiver is good thing for the farmers who are in the debt trap right now but to just help us like farmer section is not a small section farmers more than 60 percent of the people in india are farmers i'm not supporting any government or not trying to discourage any government encourage any government these are just facts i kept in front of you because i thought it should be because a question came into my mind is loan waiver a good thing or bad thing now this depends if loan waiver is for the right thing if loan waiver is helping the development then it is a good thing but in the long run if it is if it is hindering the development of the country then it, it's not a thing we should choose right what's your opinion comment below and also share this video with your friends so that they can also think about is this loan waiver a good thing or bad thing so with that being said this is pranatu kanawa who always loves your face and who will see you with something new in the next video